Hey everybody, welcome to my very first YouTube video that is not a part of a class project. Now today I have a very special announcement about my plans for this summer. And if you read the title, you probably already guessed it, but I'm going to all 87 runs of locations across Kansas, Colorado, Iowa, and of course, Nebraska. Not only am I going to be visiting these locations though, I'm also going to be shooting a video of my experience at all 87 Runzas. Now 87 videos of me eating at Runza locations would get really boring really fast, but I'm also going to be interviewing people from each of these communities and learning a little bit more about them. In other words, this is going to be more of a documentary series on Nebraska and of course the other locations in Iowa, Colorado, and Kansas, and about the community, the problems that they're facing, and how they're responding to COVID-19, different industries, the people, pretty much everything. So in some ways, think of this as like a YouTube vlog meets PBS, and like somewhere in the middle. Now I know some of you listening from outside of Nebraska might not be too familiar with Runza, but it's basically a popular regional chain. In fact, 82 of those 87 locations are located within Nebraska. And it's a fast food place that specializes in, of course, the Runza. And now you still might be thinking, well, that doesn't help. What is a Runza? Well, a Runza is a... Goodness, how do I explain it, honestly? Um, so it's loose. It's a loose meat sandwich um, that is covered in bread. So kind of like a pig in the blanket but instead there's beef and cabbage inside, but they have a bunch of other different menu items as well. So I will be trying all of those out. Um, in fact, that brings me to another point. I run cross country and track for the University of Nebraska Cornhuskers, but eating fast food 87 times in an 84 day span, which is basically the 12 weeks I have until school starts, probably isn't the best way to get in shape. But don't worry, especially you Jake Blattner, my nutritionist, if you're listening, I am not going to be eating 87 runzas. In fact, a majority of the runzas, I might just get a side salad or a drink or something really light. So that way I can still visit all the runzas while maintaining a semi-healthy lifestyle um, and getting in shape for this cross country season. So why did I choose to visit every single runza this summer? Cause I'll admit it is a little bit of a strange uh, summer activity. Um, so really it started out, I was going to go to Ecuador this summer. This was the plan back in like October. I was going to study abroad. I was going to learn Spanish. I was going to learn about urban planning and developing countries. It was going to be super cool, but that got canceled. Actually not because of COVID, just not enough people signed up. And then what happened was I thought, okay, well, I got to find a new plan for the summer. Signed up for something called the IT Project, uh, evangelism training for seven weeks in California. That didn't work out. Um, of course, COVID, thank you. And so that left me with a summer that was the freest summer I've ever had. So I thought, well, why not? I can socially distance and I'm going to be on my own, but I'm going to learn a lot by visiting, in fact, the 50 different towns across the Midwest that are home to uh, runs of franchises. Additionally, I'm a journalism student, a journalism major, and I want to get into uh, multimedia journalism, especially since that is kind of the future. A lot more video and you got to learn, know how to do a lot of things, not just write articles, especially in uh, this age where a lot of journalists are getting laid off. So in order to find a job, instead of just deciding, okay, well, I'm going to spend the summer at home or work um, a non-skilled job, this is basically my own unpaid internship where I set the hours and basically... My goal is to learn a ton about how to do investigative journalism, how to edit video, how to edit audio, how to create quality content, and also have a lot of fun doing it. Now, Nebraska probably isn't the number one tourist destination for a lot of people, and I understand that maybe going to Omaha and Lincoln and Kearney and Grand Island might not sound like a super exciting summer to a lot of people, but for me, I think this is the best possible chance for me to work on my journalism skills and really get some real world experience at a time when it might not be easy to get that real world experience. So that's a really important thing to me. So yes, I'm going to be creating 88 videos, including this one in a span of 84 days. So my summer is going to be very busy, especially because I'm still new to all the software, Premiere Pro and the audio and visual equipment and basically how to shoot video. But my hope is that by the end of the summer, these videos will improve a ton and I'll have a much better skill set. So basically, this is really a project 
for me. But if you find these kind of videos interesting, don't hesitate to like and subscribe. I mean, I'm on YouTube now, right? So this is where we got that YouTube, but like PBS. So the PBS will be the cinematic music. We're like going up on some small town in Nebraska and I tell you some historical facts and then interview some local. But then like it is YouTube. So, you know, like, subscribe, you know, smash the like button. You, you know what's up with that. Um, but seriously, that would be awesome. And if you don't personally know me and you are watching this video, this, that means that this video has actually become more successful than I even thought it would be at this point in time. So thank you so much. And I'm really excited. So let's unveil the very first location for tomorrow. I will be heading to Lawrence, Kansas. That is right. The only Runza in all of Kansas. Um, and we're just going to knock out an entire state. So be ready for that video tomorrow. Thanks for watching.